Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Knowledge. Today we'll be discussing event binding in Angular. So we'll be discussing what is event binding, how to bind events with actions, how to utilize event object in TypeScript, and at the end we'll have a quiz. So whenever user interact with an application in form of a keyword movement or a mouse click or a mouse over, it generates an event. So those events can be utilized to perform some kind of actions. So this is where event binding comes into the picture. So let's just go to the ground. Let me uh, just create a simple paragraph first. So within curly brackets, let me just use some TypeScript variable. So we'll be discussing about the click event of a button first. So let me just create a button. So to the basic syntax of uh, event binding is like within the square, within the brackets you can name the you can write the name of the event which in, in our case it is a click event and within double quotes you can uh, maybe call some methods or you can do some interpolations as well. So Let's just say change text. So we are calling a method here. Let me just uh, declare my text. My text that would be type of a string. Let's just initialize it like this is my text. And uh, let's just uh, define a change text method as well. So let's just change this uh, my text to some other value. This is new. Let's just save it. Yeah, we forgot to add the label of our button. So whenever uh, user click on this button, click event will get captured and a change text method will get called. And in our change text, whichever code piece we have write, that will get executed. So in our case, this is just changing this value of my text variable here. So let's just click on this. This is new. We can also capture the whole event object. So Let's just put some breaks here. Let me copy this button once again. So let's just uh, use some other method. Maybe change event. And to capture the event details, you just need to use dollar symbol right event and uh, let me just create this method as well in our typescript so that will be getting an event as a parameter and uh, we can simply just uh, print it into our console event Save it. Now we have another button popped up here. So to open console, right click, go to inspect. Within these tabs, click on console. So this is where our details of our click button or click events will get uh, printed out. So let's just do that. So we have a mouse event being fired upon when we are clicking on this event and if we just expand this object here you see we have a lot many information that we can use we have various other source elements and some other events within this one of the event like on valid on full screen change so you can use those So let me just uh, use one of them. So 
let's just use uh, this one here inner text which is coming under source element so let's just uh, use this console dot log event object src element dot inner text let's just uh, save it click on it so you see now we have two things in console one is this event and another one is that inner text you can reuse this inner text to basically change our label so let's just uh, use this event let me just copy this one here in our text so this has been changed sorry just save it So we have used this inner text under source element of an, of an event and our text of our button label has been changed. So this is how you can reuse your event object to do some other kind of manipulation. So yet there are there are a lot many properties that you can use. To make your application more stable more reliable according to your requirement now we can discuss uh, the next event so let me just put some horizontal line here so in our form we do have a lot of event that's being fired upon so we're using a very simple one of input tag that is key up that's will that will get fired whenever you press a key of a keyboard and you lift it up on this one so let me just uh, call some function change or maybe uh, on key pressed and uh, just say let's just uh, change something to maybe use some parameter and uh, my input text so let's just create this method again on key pressed event any before that let's just create uh, my input text string just initialize it to empty so on this key pressed method just say like this input text event dot so let's just reuse some something here so we do have a target and uh, we'll have some value as well so we can change its value so event dot target dot value let's just um, add something to it maybe some symbol and yeah save it so whenever i'll just press a key 
and lift it up this event will, will get fired so you can reuse this key up or many other events like that to call some of the actions as you need so that's all for today we do have a quiz so what it says like what will be the output in browser after running below code so we do have a button which is firing a some kind of click event that we are capturing and we do have some code piece here and our component is yes, we have a sim simple variable text of type string which is having value in it so we have an options like we have button having in it option two click me as a label option three text within the curly brackets and option four error so answer is click me so this is one of the example like uh, you can use for the click event or any other events to use interpolations so that's all for today thank you for watching please hit like comment your queries in the comment section and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update thank you